Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi. Today we are going to crush some hammers. We have nice assortment of hammers there in the press. And I'm pretty sure that we have enough power to crush them all. And if we have enough power, we are going to also crush this sledgehammer. So this is going to be a really exciting day. And don't worry, the coffee maker 10 million is coming. Uh, we have been too busy to get all the parts machined. But it's going to be probably the next week's video and it's going to be excellent. But let's crush the first hammer. Okay, here it goes. This was the smallest hammer that we have. And the press is now quite slow and we have full power, so... Let's see. I don't have my safety glasses. Yeah, I, I think you are not going to need them. Oh, oh my god. matter that we didn't have battery on the GoPro. <laughs> it made it job very well. Yeah. Yeah, I think it made a wise decision not to not to not to watch this through. Yeah, yeah but that wasn't even hard. Next hammer in. Okay. Ten bit bigger hammer. This has roughly the same construction. So I'm expecting roughly the same result. Just bigger boom. Very big boom. Let's see. Oh my oh, god! Oh. 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 oh, that was a hard hit! Oh my oh. god! Oh. 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 oh, that was a hard hit! I don't see any holes on the walls. Really? Was, it wasn't that. Oh, oh my god! It's that. Is it that? Yeah, I think it's that. Yeah, that's definitely. Yeah, that wasn't there. Hey, move the slightly over. Sorry, sorry yeah. for the light. Yeah, that's the, that's the, that was the one hit. And there is somewhere probably the second. Oh my god, is that oh. also new? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there's your problem. Okay, we are going to have a look on the high speed and think about things. Yeah. That was definitely quite scary to watch. I don't know why it's like, it's even more scary now than it used to be with safety box and the blast shield. I think the fact that the bulletproof windows are so clear and it's so, it's like so good picture through them that it feels somehow that there is less between you and the danger. And these already fly pretty fast. The wide angle camera that you saw, that's 200 frames per second, and this is 2000. So even if they look a bit slow here, that's because this is slowed down really, really much. And the explosions from these were so harsh for the machine and the floor, that our neighbor came to say that the windows are shaking on their house. We were streaming the filming day, so you, we happened to catch that on the stream. So it, it, it has to be quite bad to be like heard through the ground on the neighbor's place. And I think that's because the press shakes and jumps when things happen. And that's five tons on top of bare concrete. 
I know it's a neighbor. Neighbor came to say that uh, windows are like kingling thing over there. Parjimästä tulee vielä, mutta ei kyllä mene varmaan isommaksi. Sledgehammer. Yeah, our neighbor said that the windows are like shaking and the cat goes nuts and stuff like that when the... So we are up to something here. Yes, we got this. Okay, now we have this old hammer and it looks like it's much better steel, not so cast steel. So it's going to be probably a bit stronger. Yeah, so I'm not sure can we do the sledgehammer today. Yeah. We have to put some rubber isolation under the press and mount it to the floor so it doesn't like ruin the whole neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's strong, all right. No, it was just the mounting. Okay, the mounting. Yeah, let's let's not cross more today. Yeah. I have no idea how fast those were moving, but they are so heavy and fast that those would be probably deadly hits if somebody would be inside of the bunker. Yeah, crazy. So first thing that we noticed was the fact that these are loose and these are these that prevent you from crossing your hand. And uh, then second thing was the very fact that, uh, okay, I'm going to switch this off so we see a bit better. And then the second thing, our new lights, these are super nice and wasn't cheap, but they have small, small problem, small problem over here. Uh, you shouldn't see through the lights. So the, uh, it went in there. There is the exit hole. I really love our channel now when we have exit holes here also. And then there is the uh, final damage to the bunker. So pretty close to the window, but not quite. And we are going to sign all the damages on the walls so we can like remember what came from what. Of course we are not able to find everything. I have no idea where, where those four other shrapnels went. But uh, I think with stuff like this, the machine clearly can do this. It's completely happy. We have to just both the light curtains back, back together. But the fact that those came loose and the uh, neighbor came tell, tell about the <laughs> noises that we are making, uh, I think we have to do some upgrades before we can continue with this stuff. Uh, the press isn't attached to the floor at all. And I think we have to attach it to the floor to prevent it from jumping. And then we are going to also put some rubber between the press and the concrete floor. The floor is really thick, it's not going to break, it's like one feet thick, so that's really, really sturdy floor. It's completely happy doing this, but I'm afraid that the electronic parts of the press are not, 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 they are, they are definitely not designed to do this. This is not your typical use for hydraulic press. So we have, to, uh, we have to take some measures to make sure that uh, we are not going to break our new, new fancy machine. <coughs> Holy shit. Yeah, the frame is specially made to endure all of this because they knew very well, the engineer from ProfiPress, what we are going to do the, with the machine. So the frame and the hydraulics are like fine with this, but they don't sell like 
bulletproof versions of these. So we have to make something for the jumping thing and also put the like polycarbonate here. And here you can see what the machine goes through when the hammer explodes. It's frame by frame. So you can see from amount of the motion blur on different parts, you can see how they are moving and shaking. And that's really violent, violent thing. And of course it's going to make some seismic activity because the thing weighs five tons. And when five, five tons jumps around like this, you are going to notice it, <laughs> that's sure. And also there isn't like any solutions ready from ProfiPress or any other like hydraulic press manufacturer, because this is the very thing that you shouldn't be doing with your hydraulic press and nobody else is doing. That's why we have the bunker here. But I'm going to mount the press to the floor using some kind of spring or dampening system that allows it to move slightly up and down and like spread the force through like half lines of stroke or something like that. And then the like uh, impacts to the electronics and stuff like that are not going to be so harsh and it's not going to generate any seismic activity anymore. And I'm going to also get a different stand for the electric cabinet just to make extra sure that the electronics are not jumping around. But it's a tough machine because it, it, it clearly can take this. This was already like the really bad explosion. Yeah, but I think that if the last week's springs were a bit disappointing, this video surely wasn't disappointment. This was stupidly dangerous. Easily the most dangerous thing that we have ever done on this channel. You would be 100% dead if you would have the hammer exit hole on your head. So <laughs> don't try this at home. This is why we built the bunker. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.